Hello friends, I am Dr. Radha Krishna. I am a gastroenterologist and hepatologist. So today, I am going to discuss about a very common topic which we see day in day out. In fact, it is called as dyspepsia in our language. But in general language, what most public say, they have a gastric problem. So what do they actually mean about gastric problem? So gastric problem means, in fact, there are three main causes for such problem. The first and the foremost is GERD gastroesophageal reflux disease. So what is this GERD? What actually happens is patient complains of burning, burping, repeated burping or discomfort in the upper abdomen. So why does this occur? They can have a lot of throat symptoms as well. Normally we have this food pipe and we have the stomach. There is a wall here between the food pipe and stomach. Suppose the acid is, it should be in the stomach but if the wall is a little bit loose, the acid tends to come up. Whenever the acid comes up, people can experience discomfort here or in this chest area. They can have burning, they can have discomfort, they can have pain, and various symptoms. If they take acid pills, they usually get well. But whenever they take very irregular diets, like too much spicy, too much food, they get aggravated symptoms. Spices can aggravate a lot. In fact, one of the most important thing is excess weight. Too much weight, in fact, the increasing abdominal girth size, body mass index, there is a higher incidence of reflux coming up and they can have this problem. So how do you diagnose this condition? There are various tools starting with giving them acid pills to endoscopy and these days there are very novel tests as well called manometry and pH metry which is said to be the gold standard test for reflux. So what we do is first whenever the patient is not well, significantly there any problems, we do a test called endoscopy. So endoscopy is a very simple test, the patient comes empty stomach, hardly takes one minute, we just through, go through a small plastic tube with a camera on the tip, it goes through the food pipe and into the stomach. We tend to see pictures like these. On here you can see if there are breaks like this, that means there are pulses, this is called as GERT. On the other hand, here you can see it is a normal case. However, in most patients, the endoscopy, even in reflux patients, you do find some normal cases. For those cases, to pick up those cases, we do this advanced test called pH testing. What do you do in pH testing? pH testing, you have a small catheter at the food pipe junction, just 5 centimeters above. The number of times acid tends to come up, this recorder sends messages to this adapter here and you have a picture like this. The recording goes for 24 hours. This is the gold standard test for reflux. So for Reflux, this is how the test is done. For most of these patients of GERD, the main treatment is lifestyle changes. Once they do lifestyle changes, most of the symptoms do subside. In a proportion of patients, they do require medication and a very small subset, the valve has to be mechanically closed by doing a surgery. So the most important lifestyle changes are weight reduction, elevation of head end while sleeping, avoiding late evening meals actually. Avoiding spicy stuff also helps. The most important thing is weight loss, head and elevation, avoiding late evening meals. For most patients, they do well with these symptoms. In patients who are refractory, they have repeated problems, there is a small subset wherein the wall, which is loose, has to be mechanically tightened. This is called as fundoplication, a kind of surgery. Some of the patients actually have a different kind of problem called gastritis. Very small erosions inside the stomach. Another subset of patients have ulcers. These are like deep furrows within, within the stomach or the duodenum. There are various reasons for ulcers, starting from bacterial infection called H. pylori to painkillers. A lot of these medicines do cause these problems. But if you identify the problem, you can easily diagnose. Otherwise, sometimes they can get complicated and they can cause bleeding or severe pain abdomen. Earlier days, surgery was the only treatment, but now with very effective medicines, a lot of these gastric problems can be easily solved, detected and treated. So, out of the, like whenever patient has this problem, it is better to identify the cause of the problem and then appropriately treat. Simple or counter or like whatever medications are available uh, in medical shops like antacids, things like Pantop, things like Rabiprazole, combinations, many things are available, but the problem is,
whenever you people take these medications, the symptoms get subsided. If they don't know what is the diagnosis, again these symptoms tend to recur. So the best thing is meet your doctor, identify the problem and appropriately get treated. Thank you.